Welcome to a simple life. I know, it looks dark out. It's actually like before noon. Last night when I left, it looked like they were ready to have babies. So, let's see. Goats are doing good. We are going to finish the doghouse. <clears throat> we have most of it done. We need to attach our metal, get the backside on, and then I brought up some hay to throw in here. We also need to put it in its right place because this is not where it's gonna go. All the dogs are up here playing. Um, Reba's got her invisible fence collar on today. So she's doing good. And Merle is always, is just a complete lover. But yeah, so we're gonna get this done. We're pretty darn close. Just got a little bit more to go. Why am I using old metal? Because it's a doghouse. Merle currently, yes, one of my men's best friends. He currently just sleeps in tractor sheds, the barn, underneath some trees, uh, in his current dog house where the feeder's at, underneath my truck, underneath the dump truck. He just finds a spot and he sleeps there. How do I know that? Because I've come up here late at night, I've come up here early in the morning, I've hiked up here when he doesn't know I'm coming up here, and I found him in all those places. <laughs> so, uh, this is gonna be a huge improvement. Two, there's two reasons why I'm building it the way I'm building it. Okay, so the reason I'm building it the way I'm currently building it is in the summer, he can get underneath of it and the ground will stay nice and cool and it'll have a breeze, a cross breeze, okay? And in the winter, he can get inside of it. Uh, this is meant as a home base. It's not meant to be, you know, their dog house next to our house type of deal. This is just gonna be up here. I'm going to put this in a central location. This is not where it's gonna sit. And the reason why it's not gonna sit here is because this is in the middle of my field where I do, I bring my logs. This is where we're gonna be doing gardening. I'll probably also move the feeder a little bit closer to that zone as well. So the feeder is pretty much next to it. And it's actually the dead center of the property. That's why it's gonna be there. And this is just gonna give them a nice place to get out of the wind when it's a cold, windy, wet night. And that's really what this is for, is cold, windy, wet nights. Um, I will throw some hay in here when we get into the deep part of the winter. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. this little guy was just, or girl was just born. Oh, and you are so covered in, oh, pine shavings. You poor thing. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to intervene here. Those pine shavings aren't going to hurt anything. And that mom needs to do her job. I'm going to put this camera down and just let you guys watch this mom do her thing. I'm, gonna, I'm trying not to scare the mom off. She might just have a single right now.
fence is hot. Mama goat and baby are feeding over there. That baby's already on. You'll be awesome. <sighs> what a day. Let's go get the doghouse put in place. He's such a jealous. He's so jealous. He gets so stinking jealous. All right. All right. You, can you get in there? Show me you can get in. So I don't feel bad for making it too tall. Come on, get in. Get in. Get in there. He wants you to get in. I'm a wee bit worried I made it too tall. Merle is 100% convinced that this is his. He's like, yep, I know exactly what this is for. I, you do know I made this for her. I didn't make this for you. I made it for her. It may be too tall for her to get her butt in there. Let's see if she'll go in. This is, this is definitely the property with the projects that just never end. Um, we're gonna get there. I mean that. Five years from now, I'm gonna look back and my mind's gonna be blown by how much has been done here and what this property looks like. Well, I think I think it's a hit. But I don't think my hay's gonna stay in there very long. All right, let's go check on the goats. See if we got any more moms. That mom has passed with flying colors. I'm super stinking stoked at how she's doing. I think that's all she has. I don't think she's dropping any more. I could be totally wrong. I she's still got a big old stomach. Um, but it's been a while. But the problem is I don't see a placenta. I haven't seen a placenta. And I know she gave birth to him right here. Unless she ate it. She would have had to eat it before I showed up. And I showed up and that thing was literally just just to come out. He hadn't, he didn't even get all the way dirty before I showed up. All right, I'm gonna go get a little hay and I'm just gonna wipe him down with a little bit of hay to help him dry off a little. I'm hoping this mom doesn't take offense. Can I help at all? Can I help at all? Can I just help? He's like, I don't even want you to help. Can I just help? All right. Well, if you're gonna walk away, fine, fine. I'm done. All right, that's that's exactly what I didn't want to happen. I didn't want to move them from this area, so I'm done. Reba got out. That's okay. She knows it's there. She'll be fine. She's been sleeping outside and in a barn for a while, so she'll be fine. Merle's as happy as all get out. She may not be able to get in there today, but I guarantee within a week, she would have figured it out. <laughs>